What are you saying, YouTube? Yeah, we're not just holding each other's hand, isn't it? Just anyway. <laughs> but here, I want to show you an application of this. So, mate, this, uh, this is um, uh, come some Tai Chi and stuff. This kind of movement here, which is the um, that kind of curvature there. So, quick, this one here. The guy grabs you. You can give him a quick shot there, and then from here, drag from here, bang, from here, bang. Working there and what have you, and you can do it here. All right, so this one here is a very Tai Chi technique, it doesn't require any strength whatsoever. So, the setup for this one for the situation here, as he grabs me, opposite hand, my right, my left hand here comes up at the same time, my feet move, my right leg here pivots there. I want to keep this one here tight, everything needs to be tight. So, as I come in, I start to look at his ear here. As I come in here, sorry, mate, say, as I come in here, come in and have a look, make the details here. I want to start off at the top of the tricep dragging. This one here is a very Tai Chi technique. It doesn't actually require any strength at all. To get it right, what I need to do is put, engage my whole body. So here, my right leg steps forward. I push, I lead with my right hand, the shoulder leads forward. And watch here, I just simply take this. And here, pressure, pressure, and then I've got position there to do what I need to do. It's the footwork for this one is, see here, I drag him laterally. As I drag him laterally here, my right leg steps back because pressure, sorry, here. It requires no, you okay? Yeah, it requires zero um, effort at all. So it's there. So the initial pull, as I grab here, so if we go back to the position, right hand here grabs over there. Edge of the hand here, strikes, pull down, reach down to the thumb, that's where I've got control. My right leg steps forward. As I start the position, I start the position here to get the effect. See here, I get this motion here. I need to connect my whole body though. So here, as I come in here, I pull, see here, to lean forward. I push there, drag in, bang, yeah. Well, now I've got position, give the kind of couple of strikes here, and then we okay. so can break. Technical points here to remember, as you pull him towards your pocket, I need to pull up. As I pull up, I put pressure there. The actual area effect, back of the triceps, I'm stretching the whole tendons as I come down. And here I end up at the, at the point of his bursa. So the end of the tension is actually there. That's where, oh, there you go, I can already see his body moving. That's where I can take him there. Okay, there. It requires a lot of practice, you know, honestly. You know, to really get this technique down, it requires practice, but, the footwork here is essential, and also it's this kind of thing. People think you need to put a lot of effort into this. You don't, it's just striking there. Even here, as I put it in, without body weight here, I can still make him work there. Very, very effective there. And here, I just need to bang it, even more work in there. If I want to flatten the guy out totally, here, come here and have a look. See, I scrape down, I just set that in here, and I can come in here, now I've got control of the guy, okay? So yeah, working the weakness of the arm, where the bursa is there. So the weak point in the arm, easy to break. So that's what you're scraping down. The key there is to get that, that, that motion there. That curvature is what you want to get stuck in there. That kind of movement. Okay. There, there, and move back. So it's there, natural drag and then speed. So plenty of, plenty of applications to that. So the guy's got a pointing finger at you, anything like that. Here, you can grab here, give him a man, and then come back here. Or if he's got stand up position here, you can give him a little kick, and then you can grab the lead arm there. So plenty of applications to it, yeah? Do that.